H2 plus 2 E negative gives 2 H plus. Sorry, sorry, I've, uh, I've made a mistake over here. It should not be this actually. It should be 2 H plus plus 2 E negative. gives h2 now this is plus 1.36 we forgot the sign the sign is very 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 important and now you if you see like let's just stop here and if you see this value actually makes a lot of sense you know that it is very positive positive like copper at plus 0 0.34 but this is uh, like this is more than one volt greater than that it is 1.36 now this makes a lot of sense because we know that chlorine readily accepts electrons to form ions because obviously chlorine is electronegative so it will be very eager to accept electrons so this value plus 1.36 volts makes it uh, makes makes a lot of sense because it shows that the forward reaction in which chloride ions are being formed is much more feasible than the than the back reaction so whenever e naught is negative the reaction the, the 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 reverse reaction is feasible whenever e naught is positive the forward reaction is feasible that's what these e naught values actually tell us now for this one we know that e naught is equal to zero volts so again hydro, this one is smaller because plus 1.36 is greater than zero so as plus 1.36 is greater than zero we'll have to reverse this uh, sorry not plus we'll have to this will be h2 gives two h plus plus two e negative so once we've got this again when uh, there is uh, zero is neither positive nor negative so this also stays zero and then 1.36 plus zero will give us one point plus 1.36 uh, plus 1.36 volts now and that is the value that we get on the voltmeter now you can see that whenever the standard hydrogen electrode is the other half cell what we get on the voltmeter is nothing nothing but the standard electrode potential of whatever is being tested against the half cell and then negative sign here and positive sign here because zero is smaller than plus 1.36 so hydrogen is more likely to give up electrons and uh, then compared to chloride ions Hydrogen is more likely to give up electrons and since hydrogen is more likely to give up electrons This will become the negative electrode and this will remain the positive electrodes Electrode and the direction of electron flow is from negative to positive So it is this side the electrons are flowing this side towards the left Now let's move forward Half cells containing ions of the same element in different oxidation states now This is a completely different ball game altogether because uh, we have Fe3 plus and Fe2 plus ions in equilibrium with each other but we don't have iron metal so this half cell is actually Fe3 plus plus electron gives Fe2 plus this is this reversible reaction and since there is no metal there is no solid there is no solid in this reversible reaction we will have to use a platinum electrode so remember when there is whenever there is no solid in the reversible reaction in the equilibrium then you will use a platinum electrode so in the case of gases or in the case where you are testing two ions together instead of a metal and its ion then it will be then you will be using a platinum electrode so uh, and both concentrations have to be one mole per dm cube be very careful about that so the electrode potential of this uh, reaction is uh, when I look at my data booklet this is plus 0 0.77 volts that means that iron oxide is very likely to reduce to form not iron oxide sorry uh, it means that Fe3 plus is very likely to reduce to form Fe2 plus because the electrode potential is positive and for the second one again standard hydrogen electrode this remains the same So what we do is uh, this is this is zero we know zero so we'll have to because z plus 0 0.77 is greater than zero we will have to re invert this so this will become h2 2h plus plus 
plus 2e negative gives 